Okay, I have decided to do the book scavenger hunt tag. I think that is a really cool tag. Um, I'm very nervous about this one because when I was doing my gush video about Akamath, the first time I filmed it, it ended up being two hours long, or almost two hours long, and that made it unable to be downloaded, so I had to redo that. So hopefully this one won't take as long. So I'm going to just go ahead and get started. This was this tag, this book scavenger hunt tag, was created by Sarah of the Library of Sarah. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, the first one is find a book with a Z in the title or the author's name. Okay. Wizard of Oz, a classic. Which, actually, could I could choose this one for the classic search, but the one where you have to find a classic book, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to use the same book for the same same question, but Wizard of Oz, and I don't think I need to explain every, what this book is about to everyone, because everyone knows Wizard of Oz. So, and, and Oz, is the, the Z is in the title, Wizard of Oz, this is the first book. There are actually several books in that Frank L. Baum wrote in that take place in this world, but this is the original, the one that everybody knows. Okay. Now the next thing is find a classic. That would be easy. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Um this is my classic, and I think, I think actually that Mary Shelley had to change her name to a, I think this was the author that, that when she wrote this book, she had to change her name to a guy name. But a little bit of background info, um, not only did she have to change, use a guy synonym, what's the word, I remember, I was trying to think of that, that term a while back, I vaguely remember that, but I think. Um, I remember she wrote this book. And I believe she was 17 when she wrote this book, and she wrote this for a writing contest. There was her and other well-known authors had to write horror stories and um, for a contest. And she won. And she was, like I said, she was only 17 when she wrote this. I think that's the correct information. I, if I'm wrong, you all can look it up to make sure if I'm correct or not. And Or if you already know if I'm correct or not, then you can tell me in the comments. Okay. Okay, next is find a book with a key on it. This is one I have to go ahead and um, look for that one before I started the video. I thought that would take me too long. But here is the Society Book of Deliverance Dane by Catherine Howe. See, the key is right there, right in the middle. Um, this is basically about a girl, a woman... Who, um, she discovers that she is a witch. She inherits her family's legacy of witches. She finds this magical book and everything. So she decides to do the research on her family tree and everything. I think it's her family. Um, but, and those research on this one deliver, on this woman deliverance stain. And the key is what unlocks the secret chest or box. I remember where the, where the book is where she finds the book, I believe, if I remember correctly. This is another book I need to reread or refresh my memory. I remember really liking, loving this book, especially the writing style. I'm very, I can be a little particular about writing style. Okay. Oh, and I also, with that book, I like how it feels, because it feels very old-fashioned, but it looks like a regular paperback, but it's just, the way it feels is really, really cool, really old-fashioned, like, um, find an object that, on yourself, that isn't a book. Oh, that's easy. Okay, I'm unsure, so I'm just gonna, I don't know, because I like, I have a, quite a few items that are not book-related, and I like them all, I think they're all cool, so I'm just gonna show them all to you real quick, you guys real quick. Um, this is cool. This is like my you know Venetian mask holder thingy. See, I think that's just really cool. Isn't that cool? And I have a few things in here, like this ladybug I got. Um, get all 
ladybug thing that's I guess a paper a small paperweight. Um, this little cute little piece of a necklace that came off. And then my aunt, a couple a few years ago, she had passed away sadly, which is very sad. And this was a little angel. I got that represents her. That's cool. Um, little crafts thingy. Okay, cool. Um, and then I got this little. You put normally. This is like a, an image of New York. It's you shine. You put this on this little display thing that you know you turn. You push the button and the light shines through. But I don't have that anymore. I think my dad might have it, or he might throw it away. But I keep it. Because I think it's cool. I always love New York City. It's one of my favorite cities. From unfortunately, I can never live there because it's like too fast for me. I couldn't handle living there. But I think it's cool. And this is a TY. I used to have a huge collection of TY beanies. And my my grandma, the one that is actually visiting, she got us into me and my sister into collecting Beanie Babies. And this is one of the few I have. Well, actually, no, I have all my other ones, but they're put away in storage. I think. Because, I mean, yeah, they're Beanie Babies, and they were very popular at one time, but they're not worth anything anymore. Only certain ones are. That's the thing that's the thing that my dad figured out, is that not everything that you think that is worth something is worth something. It just depends. They have, like, a very particular thing about them. Like, they're the very first one that was sold in the very first store that these guys were sold in. They have this little mark on their body. And I love doggies, so I've always put a bit more... Emphasis on my dog, Beanie Babies. So I got this one. This one's name is um, Frick Fitz. He was born on January 10, 2004. My fur is colored just not red, but what if I was blonde instead? Or brunette? Might be really cool. No, no, not for me, because redheads rule. I do like redheads. I have, but so there are some redhead actors that I have a crush on. But I think he's so cute. He's so cute. So I saved this one. And then, I have this. This thing that, you know, you put stuff in it. And I think it was my grandpa's. So that's why I kept it. Because I've always been very close to both my grandfathers. And I kept it. I think my grandfather had made this. Maybe in wood shop or something. Or he might have bought it. I don't know. But yeah, that's where you can put things in it. There's money in there right now. But I'm not going to show that to you. Because that's private. I saved that. And then I also have another little dog figurine. I love doggies. I have, you know, in fact, my doggie is right beside me on the gre on my reading chair. Because he really likes that. There's a big, huge window right over here. And so he can look out that window and see the driveway. So he can see people walking, neighbors walking by. Or someone's driving into the driveway. Like, if we come home, it's a great view. In fact, usually when... Usually the dogs are either in my room upstairs because our our house is one level with the exception of the bonus room, which is my room. Um, and usually the dogs are both my dogs, both my beagles, are usually either up here in this room or they're in my parents' room. Good to see. And then I have this is not exactly this is not a Funko. It's I don't remember what these guys are called, but this is the Dent Doctor. But so, my mom didn't get, it's not Funko, it's another thing, I can't remember what it's called though. I don't know if it gets bought. Like I said, I'm trying to not make this video super long, so. And then I have, okay, so, well, I'll at least show you Rumple because I can't, you know, Belle does not let you stand up. She does not stay, which is driving me crazy, but um, I have to like lean her against the book or something. This is Rumple from Once Upon a Time, which, like I said, I don't watch that show anymore, but I still love Rum Bell, despite, you know, my, they're part of my reason why I no longer watch the show, because of how they're treated, but that's neither here nor there. This is my Rumple Funko Pop, with his little dagger right here, and he's looking like the dark one. Um, I don't have, and plus they're, they were originally meant to be being the Beast, so I had to get them. 
because it's a Beauty and the Geek. Meaning the Beast is my favorite Disney movie slash film as well. And I have Belle, but like I said, Belle does not like to stay. She does not like to stand. I have to lean her against a book or something. I don't know, maybe because her head's too big and her feet are too small. Like, Rumpel's feet are a little bigger, a little wider. So, I don't really give her any span, but it's basically Belle in that red, that red warrior outfit. That's, I call that warrior Belle. The little red outfit when she's, if you've seen the show, there's an episode where she's, she fights this beast, this creature thing. Of course, that, the creature turns out to be Prince Philip, because Maleficent did that, turned him into this creature, and she uses her wits and her knowledge of magic to save him. Which is really cool, but I love that outfit, and that's one of my favorite costumes. And then I have, up here, I also have this Funko. This is Oswald Cobblepot, not the comic book version, but the TV show version with Rob C. And this is, he is played by Robin Lord Taylor, an actor from, he's from, um, except the movie, except he's the guy who, like, has ADD in that movie with, he's blonde in that movie. Um, but in this, he dyed his hair for the show. So, so um, he's Oswald Cobblepot. The younger Oswald Cobblepot, obviously. And then I have this Spike. Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Spike is my favorite male character on the show. He's totally awesome. I would told you know. I don't have him with the vampire vamp face, though. I wish I did, but I don't. Um, and then I have... Bonnie in the pink dress. I love the pink dress. Although I love, I also would have, I would have loved it if it was the actual color of the dress that the way it's described in the book. But I love this. I don't have Ron yet. I don't have Ron in any form yet, but I would like to get to. Just to get her in the lawn. But for now, I just have her beside, in between Oswald and Spike, who are fighting over her. Because, um,. Unfortunately, they won't, I mean, so, um, and hopefully, I'm hoping to get Beauty and the Beast, the new, the new Beauty and the Beast 2017 versions of the Beauty and the Beast Funko Pops. I love to get the original ones, too. I love to be, start a collection of those, all, like, blue, the Rum Bell versions, the animated versions, and I love to get the newest movie versions. Hint, hint to my friends, Harry, which I know you will be watching this video. You can't watch my gush on Akamath because you have not read it, but you can watch this video. So, hint, hint. <laughs> okay, now, now I've done that. Let me get back to the scavenger hunt. Okay. Find the oldest book on your shelf. That is easy. I'm going to have to move these two, move these guys. This is a really old edition, as you can tell by the pages. They're they're very yellowing, and the the um this thing, this jacket is all like messed up and a little torn. And this is basically this was January 9th, nineteen seventy four, and it was a gift to my mom. Gift to my mom from her mother, my grandmother. So this is my oldest book on my shelf. Okay, so I hope this video isn't super long. Um, find okay, find a book with a girl on a co on the cover, which is gonna be super easy because most of my books I read are like that. Um, let me find the easiest one to grab. I'm gonna avoid that shelf. Get stuff on it. Um, I'll just go with. Assassin's Blade. I had just got this book a few days ago, last weekend. I just, I finally bought it. And I'm probably going to just read this one next, before I read Queen of Shadows. Um, because, you know, in Queen of Shadows, you're going to meet Oberyn, her, the guy, 
her teacher, her teacher, I guess he would be, her master, um, the girl on the cover, Selena on the cover, okay. She's on the cover of every book, every one of those books, actually, which, I mean, she's the protagonist. Um, book with an animal on it. This might be a little harder. Gunslinger was it either a raven or a crow. I don't know. I can't tell. I can't figure out which, but here's an animal. See? There you go. That was easier than I thought. Yay. So that was a gunslinger. Um, which, actually, I just saw a trailer for the movie just now when I opened up YouTube. There's a trailer. You know, when I first opened it, there was an advertised trailer for it. Um, well, I'm a little concerned because, I mean, with the movie version, you tend to take out a lot of stuff. It's a type of, and plus there are a lot of books in that series. There's, I think, like, seven books. So are they make seven movies? No. Um, okay. Male protagonist. Oh, that is so easy. Um... Okay, so let's just go with, um, okay, it is getting too easy, but, um, I'm just, okay, how about, I'll just grab, go with this one, um, The Great Gatsby, protagonist is, um, what is his name? Nick Carraway, that's right, that's his name. Nick Carraway, he's a protagonist. So, um, which I love this book. This is one of my favorite historical fiction novels. Um, he's the protagonist and the narrator. It's written in first person. Which, I mean, I've noticed there are a lot of my books are, especially YA books. A lot of it, a lot of times, that's the one trope that, I mean, I'm okay with it. I'll still read those books. But I just wish that they wouldn't do so many books in first person. So, that one... Here. Okay, so next we have. Okay, find a book with only words. Okay, that's gonna be a little harder. I'm just gonna have to get as close as I can get with that. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. Wait, no. I'm gonna go with these. Oh, no. No, never mind. Um, no. Hey, we're, we're gonna be a book on here. We're gonna use words on it. I gotta go at least one. Um,. No books who don't who, um oh maybe is this one oh okay um catcher in the rye this is the closest I'm gonna get um this only has words on it the author's name and the title I mean it does have this on it but I mean this is just a weird design on this edition um so that's the only book I have with only words on it and I gotta reread this book I'm going to reread it see if I genuinely did love it so see only has words this edition anyway. Now there was the other editions. Um, okay, so then, let's see. Okay, so, um, find a book with illustrations. Oh, this is going to be hard. Um, I don't know if I have any books with just illustrations on them. Well, well, 
Give me one of these. This one. Is it? Give me the illustration so I don't say. Okay, so I guess the closest is Alice in the Looking Glass of one of the, it's the um Barnes and Noble Classics Edition. Let's see. Hopefully, I have some more illustrations in here. I'm gonna be surprised if there wasn't. Okay, yep. See, here's some illustrations. Um, you know, this is the scene I think when Alice eats, you know, gets to that house that the rabbits, Marianne's house, and she eats the she eats the bread and gets really um. Really tall. I mean, she her size changes when she eats the food in Wonderland. See here. Okay. All right. Oh, yep. So then, let's see. Okay. So um, gold lettering. Ooh, it's gonna be a hard, another hard one. Oh well, I guess the closest to gold lettering I'll get is. This one, see the title is a little, it's kind of like gold lettering. This is a, a volume with um, two books in one, I think. The Relic Master. Um, I started reading the first book of this. This is volume two. Okay, see, I hope this counts as gold lettering. I think it's gold. It's gold coloring, lettering. And I know the first volume is silver, so it makes sense. Um, okay. A diary. Let's see if I can find a diary. Let's see. Where's a diary? Let's see. Everybody's diary. Everybody's got actual diaries. Um. Oh. Oh. Wait. I know. I know. I might have one over, over here in my nonfiction section. I'm surprised I used to have the diary of Anne Frank, but maybe I gave that a one away. So I guess the closest to is Anne Frank's diary is um Charlie Chaplin's own autobiography, and autobiography is is written by the autobiography is an actual written by the author author. So so this is the closest I think I have to a diary. It's an autobiography about Charlie Chaplin. Which I love. I mean I of course to be fair the only reason I got into Chaplin and I don't even, I've only watched a few of his movies. I have a collection of them, which one day I will watch them. But um is because I RDJ played him in the movie Chaplin, and so I was all curious about Chaplin and everything, so I got his autobiography. And I, like I said, I have a little collect. Oh, over there actually, because all my DVDs are over there. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you can still all my. Okay, I'll repeat again. I got this because RDJ played Chaplin in the movie of his bio. Um, the movie were the movie Chaplin, um, and I have a collection of his of Chaplin's movies over there. So that's where all my DVDs are. Um, so I have I have that, but I've only watched a few of his movies. But this is the closest I get is an autobiography to a diary. And like I said, unfortunately, I think I gave away. Unfortunately, I gave away the edition of the Diary of Anne Frank. Um, okay, so, alright, so, common last name, common last name for, um, an, an author with a common last name, essentially. Okay, so, let's see, um,
like that. It's just fine, Jonah. Jonah, you're not even gonna be talking about to me. Jonah, you're not even gonna be talking about to me. Yeah, I guess. Let me see it again. Um, shame could be a common last name. Um, I think. Yeah, this is King Stephen King's It. My newest edition of it because I already have one, and but that one is like totally ruined. So I think I think King is a common last name. I hope it is. I also like cat, but I mean I don't think anyone is gonna like call me out. No, oh, I'm saying it fell. Just fell. Oh, it fell. Okay. Like so I think her we the rest of her body is smaller than her head, and that's why she does not stay. Um. Okay, so, um, find a book with a close, a close-up of something. Okay. Close-up of something. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm a hobo yes, out of this count. Um, oh my god, I just love these pages. I love how they're black, and I love how... Cookie Kingdom pages are red. I have not bought that one yet, but I will. But to be fair, I'm still working on reading Grish a Grisha trilogy first. Um, so this is a close-up of a crow. So, there. That's a close-up of something. Close enough. Um, okay, find a uh, book, book that takes place in the oldest time period. Easy. Um. This is all the oldest time period. It's, um, yeah, thirteen twelve. Because tolls of death. Personally, this is one of those books that it will take me a while to get into it. Like I read a little bit, um, up to chapter five. I have a really cool bookmarks for this. Tolls of death. This is like said thirteen twelve is when it took place. It's like a medieval mystery, kind of thing. like the the Dragon of Pandal, that library book I got the other day, like a few weeks ago. Okay, so, that's the oldest time period. And that is one that's not a time travel book. That really does take place in 1312. Um, okay, so. Find a hardcover without a dust jacket. Okay, so, um. Oh, oh, perfect. Good, I didn't have to go up there. Um, this called Joining by Joanna Lindsay. This was a book that our old neighbors and our old, where we used to live, the state we used to live in, our old neighbors who actually also live here, but that's because their grand, their daughter lives here too, with her two kids, her two daughters. So they, and she's divorced, so they decided to, um, you know, help her out, raise the, because the little, the girls are really little, so... They decided to move here too, so they could help her out. Um, and they gave me a pic of their their library because um, Dr. Shivari, he loves to read too. So, so he has a huge library, and like me, had a hard time getting rid of his books. But he did give them some of let me let me go through their books. Um, I don't know what this book is about. I mean, it does not help that it has no dust jacket, but you know. But it helps for the scavenger hunt. I want to say the joining is about, like, it means that it's about a, um, um, like, a, one of those, like, a sorority or something. Or, like, some secret club or something. And the consequences of that. Okay, find, um, find a teal or turquoise colored book. This counts as teal. 
15 of our chart points. Um, Siege and Storm by Liam Bardugo, the second book. And as you can see, I started reading that, but I'm kind of more focused on A Court of Rains and Ruins. So once I finish reading that for the first time, I will read this. And then I will probably, I will feel I'm going to read the, reread the whole Acta series. But like I said in the previous, but I am a little unsure about reading that one because I'm just, I don't like Tamlin anymore. That, that is seal cover. Okay, so find, find a book with stars on it. Oh, I should have looked for this book ahead of time. This is the last, second to the last thing. Um, find a book with stars on it and find an adult book. Oh, then the last one will be easy because I'm definitely starting to get into adult rate. Okay, so a book with stars on it. Oh, I don't know why I didn't think about that last time. Um, I should have looked that up before. stars and any new books. Nope. One of those. Um, are there stars in this at all? Um, I don't think there's a ton of stars. Um, is this one a star one? Fire books have stars on them. Nope, doesn't even. Nope. Oh, wait, maybe this one might have stars on the third, the fourth book. It's all one fire book has stars on it. I'm almost done. I want to get this one, but I can't find any books. I don't want to find any books with stars on them. So maybe. Stars, but it does have spot. Well, oh, well, I guess these could count as stars right here. See on her crown. Um, maybe these can. I hope they count as stars because you know what? I, I don't feel like looking, and like I said, I don't want this video to be super long. So, you know what? That I'm gonna make it count. So, she has stars on her crown. Falling. Um. Okay, the last one. Find an adult book. That's easy. Um. I just go with this. This is the current. The fifth. I think this is the fifth book. I think this is the fifth book. So, a Game of Thrones. Um. Sorry. Okay, unfortunately that probably would add length to my video. But this is, um, I might have to redo this video. Here is an adult book. The la the, la the most recent one that's been published. Um, 
of A Song of Ice and Fire series. Okay. Alright, so that's it. That's my little scavenger hunt. I hope you guys like it, and I might have to redo this anyway. So, okay then. Bye-bye. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And consider you all tagged.